Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are enjoying my digital lectures I am Freha Sufyan your mathematics teacher I warmly welcome you all on the platform of digital academics provided by Moonlight International Publishers Today my topic is subtract numbers up to four digits By the end of this lesson you will be able to subtract numbers up to four digit with borrowing and without borrowing So my dear students Today we are going to subtract numbers and we are going to subtract the numbers with borrowing or we are going to subtract the numbers without borrowing. Without borrowing means that we are not going to take any borrow from our neighboring number. Okay and with borrowing means that we are going to take borrow from our neighboring digit or neighboring number and then we are going to regroup the numbers accordingly. We are going to subtract numbers up to four digits and these numbers what we are going to do we are going to subtract the numbers vertically as well as we are going to subtract the numbers horizontally. Well my dear students vertically is this wall is in vertical position from upside down is vertical position. What about horizontal position? Horizontal position is the same as you know the position of the floor. The position of the floor is horizontal but what we are going to do in subtraction we are going to move from the digits from which digits from our left side to right hand side so that is why these arrows are actually showing the direction of subtraction right hope the concept is clear and now I am going to tell you which kind of subtraction we will do first I will solve an example for you which will be of subtraction without borrowing then we are going to solve an example for you which will be of subtraction with borrowing and regrouping now my dear students let's start this is the first example this is subtraction without borrowing and we are going to subtract vertically so these are the number 3875 and minus sign and then we will subtract 2850 so first we are going to write them vertically first number we are going to write first and the second number we are going to write secondly and the position of the numbers must be according to the place value chart okay and we start the numbers from ones tens hundreds and thousands okay so we start writing the numbers from our right hand side to our left hand side as we are going to write them down then we are going to write subtraction sign which is really very important and this must be on the second number okay now we are going to draw a straight line this straight line will tell you that this is the answer or this is the uh, subtraction now my dear students we are going to start getting the subtraction from which numbers from ones so for the first number the ones number is 5 minus 0 5 minus 0 is 5 so we are going to write 5 over here 7 minus 5 which is at tens place so 7 minus 5 you can draw 7 lines and you are going to cut 5 lines you will get 2 number now my dear students you know it the 100 position is 8 and the other number is also 8 8 minus 8 is 0 so I will write 0 over here now my dear students 3 minus 2 which is at thousands place 3 minus 2 is 1 you already know it so I'm going to write 1 and also I'm going to copy the comma as well so this is my final answer which is 1025 hope this concept is clear my dear students as this is subtraction without borrowing now I'm going to solve an example for you which will be of subtraction with borrowing and we are going to solve this example in vertical position. So the statement of this example is subtract vertically 4035 minus 1640. I am going to write down the first number first and the second number after that number and in you know uh, according to the place value chart. So this is written over here now I will write subtraction sign then a straight line I am going to draw the straight line then I am going to start subtraction from my right hand side or you can say that from one's position. Now 5 minus 0 is 5. 
Now what I am going to do is I am going to subtract the number which are lying at tens place. 3 minus 4 is not possible because for subtraction we must have the first number greater than the second number. Okay, so that number must be greater than or equals to the number so that we will get the answer 0 if this is equal. Now my dear student this is less than the number second number so I am going to take borrow from my neighboring number which is lying at 100 place. Here I have 0. So I am unable to take any carry from it. So I will just knock knock on the second door which is at 1000th place. So I am going to take borrow from that number 4 and cut it and write the number 3 on the top. Now I am going to cut the number 0 and write over here 10 because this number has given 10 to the number which is lying at 100th place. Now because this is not required over here we need the borrowing number where at 10th place. So my dear student we are going to cut the number 10 also and write 9 on the top because this is also giving one number borrowed to the next number. So the next number will be 10 okay and this number will be 9. Now 10 plus 3 now we are going to regroup the number 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 minus 4 is 9. So 9 I am going to write over here. Now the number over here which is lying at 100 place is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. So I will write 3 over here. Now the number lying at 1000 place is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. I will write 2 over here and copy comma as well. So the answer over here is 2395 is my final answer. Now my dear student this is subtraction with borrowing. Now I am going to solve an example for you which will be of subtraction but that subtraction will be of without borrowing and we are going to solve it horizontally. So the next example you can see over here. So so this statement of this example is subtract horizontally. Now my dear student the numbers are 3978 minus 2903. Now this you can see that this is lying like a floor that is in this direction. Now I am going to write equality sign over here and I am going to write the numbers in the given box. You can see the box over here. So I am going to write the answer in the given box and how I am going to write First, I'm going to subtract the numbers which are lying at one's place. So here it goes. 8 is the bigger number, the first number 8 and the second number is 3. So subtraction is possible. So now I'm going to write down 8 lines. You can just do it by yourself or you can do it in your mind as well. 8 minus 3 is 5. So I'm going to write 5 over here at one's place. Now my dear students, 7 is there at 10th place and 0 is there and other on other number. Now 7 minus 0 is possible. 7 minus 0 is 7. So I'm going to write 7 at 10th place over here. Now my dear student there is the number 9. There is the number 9 minus 9 is 0. So I will write 0 over here at 100th place. Now my dear students I am going to subtract 3 minus 2 because 3 is the first number and 2 is the second number and this is possible to do subtraction. There is no need to take borrow from any other number. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So I will write 1 over here and my final answer is 1075. Hope this concept is clear to you guys. We'll get back to you with more interesting concepts of mathematics. Till then you need to take care of yourself and your family. Allah Hafiz.